Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining our session, New Ways to Sell Your Products with Google. My name is John Kennard. I'm part of the strategy and business development team um, based in the Los Angeles office, although I'm presenting today from my home office. Uh, thank you all for taking the time. Thanks to the Pioneer team for having us to speak. We're really excited to, to meet with you all. Uh, I will be at the event. I will be answering questions. So please get in that chat, ask questions as we go. Um, the focus of today is really to share some of the different demand tools that you can use to drive uh, sales to your um, to your business. Um, and in particular, I'll be focusing on free listings and our zero commission model for buy on Google, which is formerly known as Shopping Actions. Before I jump in though, I realize that the audience generally, um, there's gonna be a lot of marketplace sellers, so sellers without a website. And so as you think about different channels to participate in, you know, um, particularly for marketplace sellers, if you have a website, you probably have used Google to drive demand for your business. Um, but if you don't have a website, you may not know, hey, are we big, are we relevant? Um, the truth is, is that we have eight properties with a billion plus users, and we have tons of commercial intent across our properties. So think about searches. So commercial searches, uh, product searches, really we're at the front door for a lot of the consumer journey. If you're thinking about YouTube, unboxing videos or uh, how-to videos, time and again, we're giving sort of real reference to product and brand. Um, whether it's you're looking at uh, receipts in, in Gmail or you're asking the assistant about a product or you're looking for directions um, to a store that carries the inventory that you're looking for. Time and again, we have all of these disparate moments of intent, which across our properties, we, we see when users are trying to make decisions about what products they're trying to buy. Um, and, and generally, I'm sure many of you can experience this as a consumer as well, right? Um, when you're making a considered purchase, you're likely using Google dozens, if not hundreds of times as you go through to, to end up making that choice. And again, you know, we think of ourselves as really full funnel. I don't even think of it as a funnel. It's really a loop, right? You, you, you push a user through the funnel as efficiently as you can. They're likely to come back to the top of that, of that funnel uh, more effectively, depending on how well you've gotten them through, uh, through their journey to actually buy something. But we participate in the entirety of this, right? So again, we're a front door or a starting point for so many um, uh, eventual purchases. We're deep in the process of helping people in the consideration process, whether it is comparison shopping or how-to videos or um, a, a variety of different ways that we enrich or inform our users. And then finally, we're active in the purchase uh, experience. So. Uh, not only buy on Google, making it sort of frictionless with stored credit cards and, and uh, shipping and billing address, but also reorder forms, uh, auto-populating credit cards. Generally, generally, we're really working to, to drive people to that transaction um, when they get down to the bottom of the funnel. The challenge is for us, and this is sort of a bit of a reckoning that we've had, is that if you're a marketplace seller, if you, you don't have a website to direct traffic to, you know, generally there hasn't been a great way for you to participate. Two or three years ago, there really was no way. And over the course of the last couple of years, we've been working on different ways for you to participate. But generally the way that we were packaging up that intent was through shopping ads. So shopping ads is a product where you list your products in Merchant Center. You take in Google ads, you submit a bid against that, creates an impression, user clicks on that impression and it goes out to your retail website. It's, it's an extremely robust and mature product. You know, so many merchants use it as a core element of their, of driving new customers and new orders uh, to their business. Um, but again, it's, it's somewhat, it's, it's not as inclusive as, as we would necessarily hope, right? If you don't have a website for shopping ads, there's not really a great way for you to participate. If you're an SMB, so you're a smaller merchant, generally, you know, you may not have the, the disposable, um, you know, free cash to actually invest at the top of the funnel, right? It may not be the way that you'd like to organize your business. You may actually work better with sort of fixed or known costs at the, at the end of the transaction when you've actually captured it. So with that in mind, and really with some exciting developments in terms of our leadership, um, we've taken some steps to think about how can we make our platform more inclusive for sellers and therefore make it more inclusive for users. So again, think about our properties. We have eight properties with a billion users and our users are so varied, right? They're, 
there are some things that are universal and that they're looking for the great, the products that they want. They're looking for great price and they're ultimately looking for to acquire that product the way that they want. But then there's a lot of diversity there, right? Based on who those users are, where those users are located. Um, and then also whether they want to buy from their favorite retailer or from their favorite marketplace uh, or from, uh, from buy online and pick up in store, or they'd like to buy on Google, right? There's, the, ultimately, the users have varied choice. And so the thinking from our leadership is effectively the, the real estate previously was primarily shopping ads. And now this isn't an exact representation. It's not an exact representation from page to page, but it does represent sort of the direction that we're going. And so think of the platform previously or the pages previously as all shopping ads. So what we've done is we've taken quite a bit of real estate. We've devoted it to organic listings. The way that we've uh, uh, devoted it to those organic listings is, is in two ways. One is through free product listings. So free listings that click out to your retail site. And one of those is buy on Google. So again, free listings that click into a buy on Google experience. I'll, I'm going to spend a bit of time talking about this, but I do think it's a really exciting change that we've made. Um, our president, Bill Reddy, Posted, had a blog post in April where he talked quite extensively about free listings. And since then, we've gone you know, a couple steps further. Um, we've internationalized the product, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. So free listings. Um, again, shopping ads is I load my products in Merchant Center. I place a bid against those products. An impression shows up. User clicks on that, in, in that impression, and they're taken to your retailer website. Free listings is I load my products in Merchant Center. Uh, I enable surfaces across Google within my Merchant Center. And from that, I have a, I have a, a product that we are effectively going to show across different services on Google for free. Someone clicks on that, on that tile and they're taken out to a retailer website. There is no paid component. So it's a really exciting thing for merchants with websites. Now, I recognize that many of you do not have websites. Many of you uh, are truly websiteless or marketplace sellers. You may say to yourself, hey, it's getting easier and easier to build a website. And also, hey, this product is not just in the US now, it's available in 48 countries. And so if you are an international seller, um, this would be the way for you to unlock free traffic on your platform, um, uh, or excuse me, free traffic for your business. And the cool thing about free listings is that it can be separated from shopping ads. So on, you've got your paid, you've got your paid traffic through shopping ads. You get your free traffic through free listings. Ultimately, the blend of them, you know, the destination is still the same. It creates a more uh, a better ROI for your business overall. But but at the same time, we're creating margin for you, and that margin you can then pass to the user. Whether it's in you're bringing more products, you're um, get, you know bringing sharper pricing, you're expanding your delivery map, you're entering new countries. We think this is a real empowering thing for our shopper community, and ultimately it ends up uh, enriching the experience for our users. Buy on Google is the equivalent of that product, but one that clicks in. So I list my products in Merchant Center. I enable buy on Google. Google then goes and shows those products in a variety of different ways across different services. When a user clicks on that product, they're taken to a Google product detail page and ultimately they purchase through that, right? So they have their stored value credit card, shipping address, billing address, and it's an easy sort of two-click process to actually uh, acquire or, or, or capture that transaction. We then send you that transaction, you fulfill that product. So we are not doing the fulfilling, you're doing the fulfilling, and I'll talk a little bit more about the customer service. Um, generally, I think it's a it's, it's a really viable tool. It's one that we're still in the process of building, right? So think of ad, the ads business as being robust and mature. Think of free listings as sort of appending on to the ads business. So the, the pathing is the same. And so there's sort of a lot of shared knowledge there and um, it's naturally gonna be easier to scale. Buy on Google is sort of a new muscle that we're building up and we're building it up in partnership with sellers like yourself. I think the really exciting thing here um, is the, the shift away from a commission fee. And so in the announcement that Bill Reddy made, the other thing he mentioned was that we are moving away from taking a commission for transactions for buy on Google. Now that doesn't mean that there's zero cost. And I'll talk a little bit about 
the, the, the total cost that you have to consider, but generally the total landing cost is going to be far lower than what we were asking for. And certainly what other channels are charging you. Um, it, it's, it's a really, it's a really sort of great and exciting, uh, new product. Um, but again, it's still sort of in the early days and, and is a U.S. only product. So you have to be able to sell within the U S in order to enable buy on Google. Both free listings and buy on Google are increasingly going to be shown across Google services. Now, Google services, again, or wherever our users are participating or doing product searches are engaging with products in a variety of ways. Right now, that's the shopping tab, that's google.com, that's Google Images, that's the shopping app. But you can think, of, think back to what we talked about earlier about all the different properties that we have, all of the sort of commerciality and, and intent that we see across um, across those properties, wouldn't it be amazing if we could take your product tile and meet the customer where they are and ultimately help the customer complete their journey sooner by identifying where there's that opportunity and then also driving, driving home the messaging that, hey, they can buy this directly through that little shopping cart badge that we've circled here. So again, it's think of it as you know, you're giving us your products, you're giving us your best sort of products and best pricing and all that good stuff. And then we're showing those products wherever it makes sense and ultimately driving incremental traffic to your website through free listings or transactions and orders for you to actually fulfill through buy on Google. So I've talked about those three sort of legs of the stool, shopping ads, free listings, and then buy on Google. Now, while shopping ads and free listings click out to the retail site, Buy on Google clicks into a transaction. All of them are powered by Merchant Center. So I'm gonna show you in a minute how you can get started. The, the trick is go to merchants.google.com. Merchants.google.com is gonna be your front door. And in the top right, you can sign in or, or, uh, or, or sign up. Um, and ultimately that's where you're gonna give us your content. So either through um, one by one, so manual ingestion or through feeds, where you're giving us uh, you know, an XML or a CSV or through API. So we have a content API where you're sending us products um, or through a channel partner who is effectively doing that API work for you. You're gonna give us your best products, right? With buy on Google, you're also going to, going to get an orders API so you can pull orders. You can also do that manually, but effectively Merchant Center is the hub in which this content will live, right? And so again, think of if for the international audience, Think of advertising on Google and free listings as something that anyone in those 48 countries can participate in. You just need a website for that, for, for a destination. Um, and then for buying Google, it's US only at the moment. Uh, but if you're in other countries, I would still highly recommend try to come to merchants.google.com. If you can sign up, express your interest. And this is going to be really important for us. So as we expand into new countries with buying Google, we'll know to come to you first and we'll look to partner with you to break into these new countries. I want to talk a little bit about the key experiences, key experience changes for buy on Google. Now this is really for buy on Google. So I'm going to talk about the zero commission component first. Again, we previously with shopping actions were taking, you know, roughly 12%. So anywhere between five or 15%, depending on the category, but let's say roughly 12, 11 or 12% um, of the transaction when we were capturing a buy on Google order. What we've done is we've done away with that. We've said, we're not going to take a commission uh, for Google. We think that's a really empowering thing in a number of ways. One, it allows SMBs and small businesses a more opportunity to, to participate in our ecosystem, but also to, to really bring the best products, right? If you have margin coming back to you, if you have you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 points of margin coming back to you, you can pass that on to the merchant to drive more volume, right? Whether it's more products, sharper pricing, a bigger delivery map, whatever it may be, ultimately it gives you more power and more flexibility because we're, we're moving out of that, uh, out of that sort of taking a commission, right? In addition to that, we're going to be driving a back by Google guarantee. So as they're on buy on Google and as someone is actually looking to transact with us, so we capture the order, we send it to you, you're the one fulfilling it, but ultimately you are the brand that's front and center. So your merchant name is clearly uh, stated when someone is buying, buying from, from you through us, right? And we're effectively connecting the user and, and the seller together in that transaction, we're backing the transaction though. What we're saying is we know who these merchants are, we trust them, we vouch for them, 
user, you should feel good about making this transaction. We think this is a really empowering thing. We think it will be increasingly valuable over time as we get more products, as buying Google becomes more prominent and you see that little shopping cart icon more and more and more. The way that we've been able to detach ourselves from commission is that we've actually broken out some of the different um, cost centers within the transaction experience, right? One of those is the payment gateway. So the payment service provider, what we've done is we've said, we're actually going to remove ourselves and actually have you as the merchant bring your own payment service provider. Today, we have PayPal integrated. They're, they're uh, the first integrated partner. We've identified others and we expect that we'll have a robust list over time. But effectively, as you sign up as a merchant, so you go to merchants.google.com, you're going to sign up and you're going to uh, bring your payment provider with you. So give us your PayPal merchant uh, details and whatever else. And then they're going to charge you some amount for that transaction. Now that varies, right? Is it two, three, four percent? Ultimately, it's how it's your relationship with that PSP. Um, but it, but again, if you think of it being going from 12 percent down to whatever that percentage is, there's a ton of margin, right? There's a really interesting sort of opportunity for you either to have a better margin transaction or to pass that on to the user and ultimately drive volume. The other part that we've decided to do is, you know, what we've realized from engaging with merchants is that, you know, we've we've been on this journey for a few years now in terms of talking with marketplace sellers in particular, um, and we still have several years to go to really fully understand you. But what we've learned in the hundreds of conversations we've had, the summits we've had with our product and, product and engineering teams, the various listening sessions, is that we know the value that you bring to the and whatever marketplace or ecosystem that you participate in. You bring great product, you bring great assortment, uh, inventory and uh, assortment depth, um, you bring really sharp pricing, but you also bring really high order fulfillment and customer service capabilities. And so what we'd like to do is we're removing ourselves from being the full stack, if you will, in the customer service journey. So as a user comes in and they have a question or a complaint or a comment or what have you, what we're going to be doing is we'll be first line, but we'll very quickly um, pass pass or connect you with that user. And so what we think that's going to do is, again, it's going to be a margin driver for your business and ultimately a satisfaction driver for our users, because by connecting you earlier in the process, you're able to mitigate returns. You're able to satisfy the customer or f fill a missing part or what have you. And ultimately, we've recognized that having you closer in that in that equation is actually good for the user and ultimately good for the ecosystem. And then finally, we're going to build, uh, we're going to continue to build easier ways for you to give us or to, to list your products with us. So one of those is by building a catalog based offer system where we have a repository that you can reference. Um, rather than you having to bring a ton of rich data, we're going to make it easier for you to import your products. So, um, you know, whether it's through feeds or through manual or what have you, we're going to make it easier and easier for you to not only um, not only list your products, but also um, identify which are your best products or drive promotions or any number of things. So we're really in the process of building this. Again, it's U.S. only at the moment. So if you can sell in the U.S., I'd recommend you come in now. Now is the time to do it because you can get on and start selling uh, today and start seeing sales right now. If you're uh, international, again, come to merchants.google.com, express your interest. And then that way, as we go into new countries, we'll know to come to you first. So I've mentioned the front door several times, merchants.google.com. That is the place you want to go. Again, go to the sign in, sign up in the top right and begin your process of identifying yourself and just saying hello to us, right? Even if you're, uh, e even if you're not ready to participate, come to the, the, come to the front door, um, submit some interest, tell us about yourselves. Uh, and then obviously if you're in the U S with buying Google, or if you're in one of the 48 countries or able to sell in one of the 48 countries for free listings, what you're going to want to do is, um, come in, list your products, uh, for buying Google in particular, link your payment provider and select the various customer tools sign the terms of service, set up shipping settings, test and go live, right? It's like other um, other marketplaces you might participate in where you're loading products and setting up your merchant particulars. Um, we're trying to make this an easier and less friction or, or more frictionless process. Really look for the cues that our, our teams are giving you around the onboarding flow. So as you list your products, you know, we're going to give you a lot of signals about uh, different things that you can do to optimize or to correct any errors. And so, 
you know, ultimately come to merchants.cool.com to start. And then finally, you know, what can you think about in terms of optimization? So again, we, you know, there are some things that are sort of Google specific and some things that are really merchant specific. You know, the thing about Google is that we're a platform that, that is where trust is just inherently uh, critical. Um, any of our products and services, you know, our users have to trust and have to know that, um, that we come with a user first perspective. And so that applies to shopping as well. And there's a couple nuances there. One would be shopping ads and shopping, shopping ads and buying Google are slightly different in terms of the products that you're able to list. And so if you are on shopping ads already uh, and you're signing up for buy, for buying Google, there could be some discrepancy between those products, right? Simply because we don't uh, capture certain orders with certain ingredients or different uh, sub verticals or what have you. So pay real attention to our policy requirements look at those closely and just remember that, you know, trust is such a critical team to uh, critical function to us. And our trust and safety teams are always thinking about um, protecting the user and protecting that user experience. As you load your products though, try to get as many live as you possibly can, right? So look at the signals we're giving you around any products that uh, didn't make it through, um, you know, really take our, our instructive feedback and, and apply that and try to maximize the number of products both for free listings and for buy on Google, the more products you have, the more opportunities we have to match you against a query, right? So as a user is looking for your product, if you have it listed, we're gonna be able to show it. We're gonna be able to show it in more in interesting ways. So again, get as many products as you can, really look at the diagnostics as you're loading your products and try to optimize against that. Also optimize product content. I think again, this goes back to the seller community. Um, you know, you probably, know as much as anyone about what it takes to have great descriptions, great images, what are the things that drive users through to conversion? We want you to bring that knowledge, really bring your expertise and bring your great content as well. And while we're building a catalog, a catalog based offer system, I would say, again, for the top sellers, you really know how to do this. Um, and so I would say, you know, anytime that you're bringing yourself, bring your whole self, right? And really think about investing the time to give us good products. Don't, don't you know, halfway do it, bring us everything that you can. And the, the more content, the more richness you give us, the more signal we have to know about wh whether you're a good merchant and whether your product is the authentic good that we should be showing to our users. And, and we'll do that with increasing efficiency. And then finally, again, be a great merchant. We know how, uh, how, excellent you are. What's gotten you to this place today, um, you know, is, is really about meeting the customer promise, both in fulfillment and in customer service. So when you capture an order, when we send you one, make sure you're fulfilling it on time, make sure you're meeting that customer promise of setting expectations and meeting expectations, um, really invest yourself in the customer service flow. We think that that's really a creative for the platform and good for users, but also it's really good for you, right? It's a way for us to know, hey, this is a good merchant. We should show them more frequently. And, and ultimately you're going to see more impressions and sales if you're servicing the user. So one quick re recap between free listings and free listings that click out to a retail site and buy on Google, uh, buy on Google that clicks into a Google product detail page. Ultimately, you can see they're very similar. Uh, buy on Google, you know, both are free. Both don't cost anything to list. If you sell on Google or you have a, a, a buy on Google transaction, there is a third party payment service provider cost, but again, it's a very, very low total landed cost. So again, these are great channels for you to drive volume for your business and really drive margin friendly transactions for your business. Um, the buy on Google has the back by Google guarantee. Again, that's because they're buying on our platform. So they're buying on a Google hosted checkout flow versus uh, free listings where they're buying on your retail website. Um, again, on buy on Google, we have some universal cart building and whatever else you have that on your own website, right? If they come to your website, they may put multiple products in. Um, you know, there's different uh, reporting capabilities between the two, but again, you can see um, there's real similarity between them. It's all driven by coming to Merchant Center, giving us your products, you know, giving us your best content, and then ultimately us finding where that, uh, where, where the intent exists across our properties and then showing your products. So with that, I would say one more call to action, go to merchants.google.com. I've said it a bunch of times. You can also go to our YouTube page. So uh, uh, Google for retail, 
You can do that as a search on YouTube, or you can go to YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash user slash Google shopping. That has a bunch of great videos that will tell you all about our platform. Um, I hope I've been feverishly typing uh, responses to your questions. I presume we have more questions. Uh, and, and so I'll continue to answer those. But I just really want to thank you all for spending the time for listening to our talk. Uh, I want to thank again the Payoneer team for having us speak and uh, really grateful for it. And, and what I hope is that you come and visit us, um, submit your interest, and, and soon you'll be selling on our platform. Thanks so much.